sound. It works. I just hope it's not too loud. Let me actually, let me turn this down here. And then I can turn this up for myself a little bit. Welcome back! Hey. <laughs> uh, I just thought I'd turn the stream on for a little bit, because this is kind of cute, um, what I'm working on right now. And it's not EDM. So I thought this may be interesting uh, to look at me making something different for a change. And uh, just going to be a short little stream, maybe like an hour or two at the most. But um, this is kind of kind of cute. I'm going to grab a... Uh, there should be a base here, shouldn't there? Oh, um, yep. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. Uh, pop? Yeah, I guess we're making pop music, kind of. Let's see. <laughs> My real father. He <laughs> Sound, yes, there should be. You can hear me, right? You can hear me talk, right? Erneut Grüße aus Deutschland. Erneut Grüße zurück. What's cooking today? Yeah, right. That was that is the question. Um, so I got this. I got multiple things here. I this is guitar from Contact, and then this is guitar that I've recorded down here. And I'm gonna play you that one first. This one's quite cute. So we got. Now let me turn the, this thing off. So that's these two loops. And then this is just some loop thing from guitar, from Contact. There's like another background filler. And then this is an electric guitar, but I turned the internal amp simulation off and gave it something from Guitar Rig and then edited the preset in there a little bit. So without that, without Guitar Rig and anything, this is just Which is very pretty. And then Guitar Egg makes it creamy. <laughs> yeah, what genre? I let you decide. What genre is it? It's like... So far it's kind of emo-y. Need a little bit of a... Oh, bit loud. Bit loud. I'm be lazy with the bass here and just kind of do this. I think this is actually going to profit from using this like deviation thing here. I, tr I try to make it a little more realistic, like how someone would maybe actually play it. Like. And this was a bit much. Some of them are kind of get just get too quiet. Yeah, it's not not. <laughs> It's not really hyper pop, is it? It's not. It's not very hyper, yet. Could go there. Just regular drums. Oh, I did go a little. I wanted to see if we can make something interesting with the drums. Like, maybe overall, we could add electric drum samples at some point, and see what that feels like. But I did add some crunch here, just like to that drum kit. And this is. I know this is extreme, but. I kind of like it. It's a bit much. Maybe just not on the high frequencies. Kind of like that. I think that's cool. B a bit intense. I don't know why 
I push my friend and baby? Do boo -boo. You work with Cubase and Ableton both. Which one do you suggest for a person who loves to make EDM the most? And also soundtracks for movies. Oh, yeah. Soundtracks for movies, Cubase, EDM, Ableton. In my, like, my suggestions. But you can make either with either. It really doesn't, uh, that's not too... Don't have to limit yourself there. And then on this, this serum, we got this boy here. And we could, uh... <laughs> what genre would I be most unsure on how to produce? Uh, maybe like classic R&B. I probably always end up overproducing it. Actually, making good drone is also not that easy. Huh. I guess just like in terms of the yes, I've tried the new wave shaper and it's great. I guess in terms of the overall qual like production quality, complexity, sound design complexity, and like just the general skill level of where it's at, I th actually think that drum and bass, like, noisier level, that's pretty hard. Like, getting into that sort of level of quality. Some chorus thing in here in guitar is a little too, a little too much, in my opinion. It might be... Is it... No. This tape wobbled. Which isn't bad, but... That's better, I like that more. I see. I see what is happening. This LFO is... Oh, good, I guess that's randomizing the thing. And a Fosin guitar rig, who'd have thought? <laughs> yes, I've also tried current. Stream yourself making a full dubstep track. I feel like it's gonna take a while. Hope us filtering guitar would work. Just like well, it's already pretty like it's already pretty soft. Yes, I did try playing guitar. I this this guitar here I played. This is my self recorded, self played guitar. And there's more. Yeah, this isn't in the right... Some things aren't in the right key yet. I initially started in a different key, but this. I'm gonna just move this away. And then here... We got... Some other additional stuff. We can probably use this too. Yep, I think, did you ask that last time, Throwback EP Volume 2? Yeah, at some point, totally. Mm, I love you too. <laughs> Do an anime opening. I can't play guitar very well. Oh, ReQ, how did ReQ make Tin Segrity time signature-wise? It is just a, it's just a 4-4 grid, but you just uh, continuously speed it up. And just switch back to half every once in a while so that you don't run out of BPM to, to go towards. <laughs> oh, I still need to check out Konsan's latest album. And you're making building a sound library. I, don't know, I, just, I just collect what I like. <laughs> I know it's can be, it can be like choice paralysis when there's so much to select. Oh, have you guys seen this thing? This thing's kind of wild. This, it's hard to explain what is going on in this one. It's like a wavetable, but like multi-sample kind of thing. Uh, I can make a patch in it in a bit, because it is quite fun. I 
I guess it's a little bit over compressed now. <laughs> Okay, cool. So this starts, then this guitar comes in halfway. And um, what are you? That's that middle bit. And then we've got some extras coming in here. Okay, that's for the chorus, I guess. I like. I just like, I know, I, I like layering these so much that sometimes I definitely overdo it, where it's just like, it's just a little bit much and it's hard to like follow a, a main melody or something, but I kind of like when it's just a cluster of different arpeggios and ostinatos that, that all kind of work together and you, it just becomes this, this little almost like this little it's almost like a pad <laughs> give a little hint about Skrillex's album no <laughs> another recent sleep net tracks no also not i need to mild riser maybe favorite vocal processing i don't know do you see omri's promo for his new ep yes yes i love omri um we may or may not be working on something together <laughs> I almost feel like this could go here, and I kind of want to insert some silence here to work on, like, mm -hmm. like uh, duplicate this, and then you did the the hat. No, I did that wrong. I just need silence. If I need silence, I should have just probably grabbed some silence over here, and. Copy, copy the entire thing, and now from here to here, paste, and maybe one more, I just want a little bit of silence here, so okay, cool. So then maybe after that, these don't come in immediately here, but they just go after this, so that if we come out of this part, Maybe this is where like a little more synth type thing can come in. Like this make this just make a little quick uh, synth bass. Maybe this can be slightly ravey now. Uh, what I mean by that is, can use some saw waves with a bit of echo, and then yep, just gotta start here. Okay. Sorry, I hope this isn't too loud. The volume, all this other stuff's really quiet. I gotta turn this down. Maybe something like. made a mistake. I see it. Mm. Maybe. Hell yeah. 
Do you ever have them and just place the notes? Uh, no, I um, I I know what they are. <laughs> How would you rate your skills in music improvisation? I don't know. I feel like I, to rate myself, I'd have to compare myself, and I feel like with music, it's hard to do. Wait, 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 wait. How do I make epic rhythm like Infect Skrillex, Martin Garrix? <laughs> Martin Garrix makes red rhythm. <laughs> Oh, I like I like pig pigments. I haven't used it a lot yet, but I've just gone through a bunch of the presets, and there's good good stuff in there. Um, I think something we could do here is also just duplicate this, and then ah, I always hit the wrong. Yep, I know there's this error here, and then I gotta delete that too. I think it can do this little turnaround with the fourth chord at the end just a bit later and also I want this to dive up brought to you by macro one and then um, da, 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 na, na, like. yeah that one can stay there and then so yep and then this one does the turnaround at the end there I think that works and now slowly bring in that macro one let's duplicate this and see where we can go Yeah, this sounds like it's gonna be a riser. This sound like the sound like it sounds like a build up type thing. I feel like this would be sort of the verse. Like like intro. I think the drums here are a bit extreme. It's the compression. Oh and also this. Stab only turn on here. <laughs> yeah, just this this whole distortion thing is gonna it was a bit extreme for the start there. Is it possible to automate this? Do you like come in? Like you? Not really. Fine. Automate you? Oh wait, there must be a way. Let's see. Maybe it's this thing. Where with like, or you? No. Boy. Brother. How? How would I? Yeah. Uh, no. Never mind. It's not gonna do that. Why hi hats so loud though? Better. No, not again. It was going so well. What is the open widget warning? Yeah, cool. Uh, is there anything I can do? I don't like it when it lags. Yeah. I just, uh, Wi Fi look good over here, and um, I don't have anything else open. Like, my Dropbox isn't syncing, not downloading anything. Hmm. We back, kinda. I hope 
this stays on now. <laughs> yeah, I'm streaming with uh, um, Streamlabs, so Streamlabs OBS. If you um, have any recommendations, the bit I put, I think the bitrate is at ten. I brought it down from fifteen to ten. Last time I was fifteen. Nah, laptop's cool. Still lagging. Yeah, I still get this yellow bar. Ah, oh, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's the same issue f from yesterday. I don't know. Maybe the Ableton project's taking too much CPU. No, definitely not. It's like at 11%. Or the bitrate to like 3,000. Yeah, I might try that. I mean, YouTube wants six. YouTube wants 6,000 6, or 6,800 specifically. I'm just gonna tr change that super fast. And this, it shouldn't like completely kill the stream if I do this quickly. Let's see, one, two, three. Fine now, okay. Well, also, why is this? I don't want this to be playing. Cool. If it's fine now, then I am good. Okay, we back. We're back. It's the project file for your pleasure seeker remix on Patreon. I could try and put it on there. There's a lot of third party plugins in there, so I bet I feel like you would be overrun with missing plugin windows. Uh, but I would like to. Just prepare like a project file maybe as well, where it's like there's one version where it has all the third party plugins, but then there's also one where everything that has third party that's like not vital or serum or massive or something has the tracks frozen. So you can unfreeze them if you wanted to. That sounds kind of like a nice idea, maybe. It is better. Okay. Let's do, let's do the life thing again. That was really nice yesterday. Just getting some uh, cool percussion loop out of life. Sync, yeah. And randomize, yeah. Let's try some other, like, uh, other source files. Oh, yeah, I tried doing basses. Oh, this is actually awesome. Yeah, this is from the from the uh, YouTube video episode thing. So this one's actually I just gotta tune it. So we are in. I think this is just C minor, just very very straight up. So we just have to make sure that this is in C minor. Da, 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 da. I know this sounds weird. Why is there so much low end? Yeah. Might be my fault. Mm, this isn't that key, but we need. I think it's just one, is it? Cool. Uh, actually, let's just have. Can I change this? Yeah, because 170 is a bit. Um, this could just be half the tempo, please. That would be great. Math is hard. 85. Is it still like in. Why does it sound so. Uh, why does it sound so off the grid? Why does it sound so off the grid? Hey.
Yeah, this may not be. This this isn't very poggers. This is better, and then you are gonna be replaced. Maybe like that. Or by you? Cool, and but if this is on eighty five, this should just sound normal, right? Eighty five times two is one seventy. Why does it sound so strange? Like it doesn't sound much, it doesn't sound very different. Oh no, 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 not again. No. I guess it keeps to come in and out of existence. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh cool, you can turn up the processing up completely. Let's just use that. Um, wait, there's a way to just bounce it out immediately, right? XLN plugins can do that. I even remember they all have like beat as wave. Ha ha! I really like that. There you go. And now we can make another one. And we can just drag them out. I don't need to freeze or something. The upload button top right. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do a lot. Let's try uh, make like a percussion one instead. Or some of these are. Nah. Nah. Percussions. What we got here? Basses. More basses. Oh. And you can like. <laughs> what is who are these screams? Oh, well, maybe we'll get something out of this. Let's go. <laughs> I wish there was like a fast. If anyone knows, is there like a fast way to say hey half or double the tempo in here of that groove? Because for some reason, why do I feel like... I'm going to try this again now that is, this is a rhythm. 85. Do you know what I mean? It's very strange. It's like as if it's not tracking it properly. Wolfgang Gardner, one of the most original EDM artists ever, do you think? Wolfgang Gardner is great. Um, one of my, like, original, like, one of the first people I ever listened to that had a lot of influence on me were uh, BT, Brian Tranzo. I probably butchered his last name. Um, and The Prodigy, those were, like, the first more electronic uh, type artists that I listened to. Yeah, I guess in decreasing the density kind of works here. All right, let's uh, EQ this a bit and add our good old friend Stab. Stab, stab, stab. And then uh, let's bring, see what we can do here one more time with maybe pitch. Nah. Eh. Uh, different one. That one works. That one can probably be pitched down a bit. <coughs> Sorry, maybe not that much. 
yeah, kind of there. That sounds that sounds like it could work. Uh, audio track, life export, render the beat, put the beat over here. I just I, there was a I sneezed on the beat and the beat got sick. Uh, reference in there for a second, and I missed the timing. I wonder if we can, uh, could we shift this timing wise, make it more interesting. Yeah, now it's getting, now it's, now it's starting to sound a little more hyper. Maybe we can blend these things into the background a little bit better. I feel like these should come in here actually, and maybe these actually just go over here. And then also, this might be a certified shaper box moment. Let's go. Because it's like so fast and jumpy, I feel like with shaper box repetitions, this could be a lot more attractive sounding. Gesundheit, danke! You should check out some of the Pete Nemlock stuff for MP MSU Hangout. Yeah, okay. On Mariachi dubstep. <laughs> you know Charon and the English inspiration of this? No, I don't. No, I don't know Bachi the Rock. <laughs> Sorry. A lot of those questions sound a bit random. Uh, let's see what the sound like if we. Yeah. So half time that. And let's use the multiband. Actually, let me see. Let me copy you here. Let me put you on the highs as well. Now we can do something here. Yeah, I think I think mid and high is enough for this. And uh, I do like doing stuff like one, two, three, uh, dun, 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 like. Mix this in slightly. Next up, Reverb Shaper. I'm not going to use like all of them, but I think we can do something cool here with one or two of the different effects here. And maybe this one just every two bars, you know? Yeah. I like. That would sound wicked with a few elements reversed. Yeah, good good idea. Yes, I've seen raised volume on the stream. You mean the uh, audio volume? Sorry, yeah, I, let me just... Is this a bit better? I don't want to, I don't want to make it to last... Yesterday was too loud. <laughs> Can someone please kick Adolf Whitler? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kid Nebula. Please take care of him. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> What's your thoughts on Synthism by Eprom? I don't know. I don't know that tune. I'll check it out. Oh, another way how I like to use uh, Shaper Box is, I think one of the effects is something like this would, uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, this kind of works if this is half a bar. So let's take a shape, make it like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. <laughs> and then uh, I bring this down, the accent up, and then I'm going to make these all exponential, like this. And then maybe mix this into a 
Like you kind of get this cool. Maybe even half the tempo, and then also uh, sort of like make it a bit more dynamic. So it's like da 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 like this. And then you can, with the uh, like exponential thing, you might be able to just also give some of them a little more accent. But oh, this this gives it kind of an interesting reverse. It's like a I know it's a bit intense, but we could then bring the mix down. Yeah, yeah, you can use the bands at the top here and then make different you can have the you can have the different bands in different speeds as well. You can do some cool stuff with that. Like by default, some of these have them linked. Like the time shaper, for example, has the LFO link here. So between the three bands, uh, those will always switch to the same thing you select here, but you can turn that off and then you can actually make it play like polymeters and moving accent type stuff that just keeps changing. You can probably make some really crazy stuff. I haven't even gone that far yet. Oh, the reverse. Someone said reverse. I might actually, yeah, just to make it, just to make it a bit different and like uh, have a longer phrase sort of happening here. Let's make the high one and separate these so that the high one can be twice as long. And then first time around, it just does what it did before with the just playing it back at half the speed. And then the second time around, it could do something different. I'm going to make the high band all of this so just so we hear it better and I'm going to turn these other it's off just for a second. So for example, it could go backwards here like dee -dee 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 -dee. to make it go backwards it has to go steeper than this curve here like this, I think. Yeah. Also, a uh, nice trick if you like f to make to make really complex shapes. I would sometimes I'd start with something long like this, and then I'd interject little moments of this and this here. Because if you do it, if you do these first, and you, then you can't really, you'd have to like go off the grid here to get the line to be exactly that steep. If you draw it like this, it's gonna remove them again. So let's see what that sounds like. That's cool, a little granular. <laughs> make it flutter on the reverse sure <laughs> right okay cool i'm just gonna uh i'm just gonna do whatever you say i'm i'm that's, then if it sounds shit at the end i can say i was just following orders <laughs> sorry and maybe again here And we can also, we can, maybe there are cooler moments for this reverse just by like shifting this up or down. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Uh, da 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 da. Let me see, how do I, everyone says thanks to Tracer. What is going on? Also, I feel like I, <laughs> saying thanks, thanks to yourself. Oh, hey, Carl, how you doing? I haven't seen you in for, I've, I've actually, I've never seen you. We've never, we've never met in person. <laughs> but we've, we've Skyped in back in the day. Oh, they were posting the same message. Um, there was someone else who, who was like, they could be a, a good moderator. I know, I, I trust Busty. Uh, can block can manage block words. Yeah, let's just do that one. I definitely trust Busty. And Caleb Ashton. Okay, if you say so. If he's there, yeah. Alright, let's make those flutter. 
and I'll put I'll do this after the reverb so that if reverb happens to land on these backwards moments, it'll still start fluttering. So for that, we're going to need this on two bars as well. And then uh, I kind of wanted to let's just try this. Probably more intense. Oh, that's a bit too long. I kind of like that. I think there's a way where we can make this more interesting. Oh, this is, this is also fascinating. I can, ah, oh, cool. I can bring them closer together in all, like all of them that way. That's actually really useful. Like if I want to, let's say you, and can I, can I do you both? Probably, I just need to, ah, there you go. And then we can just, ooh. That's getting cool. I wish there was a uh, thing, ooh. That's when you hold option, apparently. Making my way through the wave, shaping fast. I wish there was a way to do like a time slowdown thing. You know what I mean? Like, this is all, yeah, this is just like warping it from here, warping it from there. I wonder if that is an option somewhere. This is, oh, cool, also nice. Can I can I have it go like louder, like sort of start in the middle and then go do 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 So like expand. Bet there's like all these things here. There's gotta be a way, right? I'll remove those for now. Oh. Oh yeah, there is a community. I think there is some sort of Discord. I don't use Discord that much because I feel like um, oh, yeah, Basti, don't worry. And if you need to go, you can also uh, totally go. I don't have any racist samples. That's the thing, though. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Aw. Will this project be on Patreon? This might be something for the album. That's, like, the idea. This might be something for the album. Uh, so I don't know. I would probably give it away after, like when it comes, when the song comes out. But um, what's the inspiration for Remedy? Um, it was just to make something more chill that's like a little darker. And uh, and it was really nice. Uh, it was like a collaborative effort between Leah and I. She wrote the verse. I wrote the chorus of the vocals. And um, I feel like there could be... A, good remix or a remake of that one too like i feel like now i feel like i could bring a little more across what i was going for back then okay let's try let's try doing this i am blind yeah and then also that and make a name ah, and then put you with the Cool. And then the faster one back here. And for that, um, yeah, let's use that that thing where like from earlier where we can squeeze it to be twice as fast because I can't click it that precisely. But we can do this and then we can, ah, shite. I'm just gonna grind my way through this. There's probably a copy option where it should, could have just copied the thing from over here and pasted it twice over there. I know. Sometimes I feel like torturing myself. And can this snap? Ah, damn it. I know I did that again. There we go. Cool. And then I'm just going to do this by hand. It's very painful to watch me do this, I bet. I'm sorry. <laughs> cool. Let's turn the drive and the reverb back on. Sounds good. Does this even work in context is the question. 
might have just... The reverb's overkill. This definitely needs to be EQ'd as well. Like, this needs to chill at first when it comes in. This needs to sound tiny, because it's like a very tiny song still. More like that. I'm gonna make it fit. Also, we could totally, like, there is no reason why you can't do this twice, and then maybe the second time around, it's something way simpler. Like, da, 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 e, uh, uh. We're just gonna, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll show you what I mean. Like, first time around, we're just gonna, sorry, we're gonna shaper box it up so hard. Da, 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 da. This might be enough. I might, I might just try this as an alternative. Nah. This was better. Sweet. Oh, Culprit Collab. Yeah, that would be awesome. Oh, I've never met him in person. He did a... I'm still baffled that he did a remix for me so far back in the day. Uh. Yeah, is the Still Kids project still going on? Kind of. I mean, I've never quit it. You inspire me. Thank you. That's all I want to do. Any tips on getting into the creative state? Flatten it and stick it back into life. We're just gonna infinitely keep uh, keep re resampling this. Sorry, I'm doing one last change because I just wanna. No. That was a bad idea. Sorry. cute I like it's just a bit loud in context with all the other stuff <laughs> the genre is new metal I don't know yeah the, the overall volume needs to go up right that's on the master I've been I've been just trying to be like super careful here I'll give it three I'll give it three decibels I hope that's not too much Pitch this down an octave and slow it down too. There we go. Oh, not the echo. This has to, yeah, I like how this is growing. This could grow a little more here, like, yeah. And I feel like this should now, now we now we can make this pretty big. Like, um, maybe add a Nexus layer for that EDME synth. But also, I do want to bring in, I don't want to do claps. This thing's so standard. Do you ever use any free plugins besides Saturation Up? Yeah, um, Voxengo, I think Tube Amp. There's a couple of there's a definitely a bunch of free ones i use my mic needs ott i don't have perfect pitch no uh, thoughts on playboy cardi i don't know who that is where's the guitar from I, me 
It's from me. I recorded it. I played, but I play in. I play it in like little bits and then stitch it together because I'm not very good at guitar. <laughs> Piano is my. That's my forte. But. <laughs> This one might work. And like halfway through, I turned the wrong thing down. Oh no, I turned the entire group down. We're making it to Tomorrowland with this one. I really just want some like width and detune from this so that it like layers with this boy. Yeah, I'm really quiet compared to the sounds. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I can increase the volume on this mic a little bit. Let me also compare here. Is this is this better? This is mic at max volume now. <laughs> Big room. <laughs> Plus 5 dB on your mic. Okay, this should be Yes, I have heard color transfer. I have been, I've tried it out. Is this okay? Good volume level. Mic's good. Sound great. Okay. So I do want to have a build up, but I want to stay away from quarter note claps. Or, or kick that gets faster and faster, and you know the kind of standard shit. So maybe we can. S T. Eighty-five. That's half of one seventy. What else we got? Yeah, maybe. maybe was, may, might have to shift it around a bit. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I kind of want it to be... See if we can, I can get this to I can customize this to do what I wanted to do. A different way of getting there would be putting this into a simpler on slice mode and then doing this with MIDI. Oh, da. Yeah. Yes, there we go. That works. So we got. Uh, and then da, 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 da. cool that kind of works this first time around I think this is a bit intense that that like da, 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 da. yeah this is a bit much I, I do like those swells but it's very intense right from the start that way Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that, that works. And I know this is so much weird micromanagement and so unnecessary, but I need to do this. I have to do this. That was a reference to Draco Malfoy in the sixth Harry Potter movie. Anyone caught that? <laughs> Very niche. Okay, this this will sound cool. I don't know what Slurpcore is. I don't know if I want to call up with Kanye West. Good night, Grüße zurück. Who's Blake Shelton?
okay, nice. This is this is making me feel very euphoric, which is the goal. Um, can probably also. Ooh. I did want to use this melody because I really like it. Maybe we can come in here. down a bit. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you all this weird plugin. This is kind of cool. Uh, I like. This just came, I just came across this on Splice because I opened my Splice up and it was like, here, try this! And I was like, oh, okay, fine. Um, and it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, let me show you. So these are wavetables down here, but they're key tracking. Like there's different wavetables sort of for every key. And there are, it's like trying to be physical modeling sort of, especially with this like body here at the end. This is like um, some sort of like convolution shape corpus style thing. What key is this in? This is in C minor, I think. So I guess my velocity decides how far up into the wavetable it goes. And everything is controlled by these envelopes that also loop at some point here. And depth, for example, is like the position of this playhead. And it's like moving around a little bit, as you can see, because there's like the sample and hold stuff on here. So the voice presets sound kind of cool and also weird, but I kind of like the weird. The strings, though, um, do I have the better string? Solo cello improved. Yeah, this is the... I know it's not the world's best uh, cello sound, but if you combine this with a little bit of the... bad the strings sound really good in this and um yeah and this sounds pretty good for not being a 10 gigabyte contact library but just this little thing and you can make your own wave table table the wave table groups i'd say <laughs> um but let's make let's just make one from scratch real quick so i can show you how even if you just mess up with this sort of it gives you something interesting um there's a default somewhere. Oh boy, where, how? Save, save us, load. No, load is just loading something. There's a, there's an init. I could have sworn there's an init somewhere. I think I have to just go into the editor and then just do stuff there. I could have sworn there's an init. Well, so it turns, yeah, this, it calls these things tone models and it kind of, I guess you can give it pretty long files and it'll sort of figure out how to place these. You see some of these go over multiple keys, some don't. Um, let's just go for like some normal type where I didn't do anything crazy. Okay, yeah, this one, let's just do that one. This one is a little bit strange, I know. So I'm just gonna fix this. So it's just behaving. Okay, it's just behaving normally now. Velocity doesn't do anything. Let's go into the editor. And as you can see, import audio. We can drop something here. Uh, let's put in an audio file. And actually, I'm just gonna use something like some percussion. And let's see what happens. Uh, like, sorry if that was loud. Um, oop, oh, that's pretty loud, but let's just try that. Can I drop this here? All right, and then there are these import audio modes. So automatic creates a new playable audio model automatically by sorting continuous waves into the most appropriate pitch zones. So that's a thing. I personally, I'm just gonna do manual just to see what we have here. So now it's this. And it says here source, source audio, and these look like partials, right? 
G sharp F. It's kind of, can I play these yet? No. So, and pitch zone, no, audio model is empty. So what you can do is you can like select an area here and then drag this, I think here. And now that's there. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. And you can do this again, and then it layers them, just puts them behind each other. Um, actually, let me undo that last move and see if I can... Bonk. Can I put you in here? And then it's going to add this to that? No, I think, but I can hit done. And then if I import more audio... Sorry, these are all so intense. You could probably... Oh, not safe. I thought I could do the merge thing. Never mind. But we can probably still edit this or no? Or is that just, just like one and done? Kinda. Yeah. Fine. Sorry. Okay, let's do it one more time. Don't save. New manual. And now this one's a little bit longer. I'm gonna select this. Put you here. And then uh, select this again, put it there again. So now we have two in a row. And you can also say, oh, only select this little bit, add that at the end again. So done, synth, uh, skip. So this down here, just think of this as a wavetable, sort of. <laughs> and then the depth is how it's gonna move up or down across this wavetable. Gain is just gain. Filter is just a filter. I'll turn the filter off for now. Is it off? Yeah. So why does it do this little movement here? Nothing's on. Nothing should be on. Mysteries. Thank you, hear that? Kind of goes back again. Maybe there's a unison, unison type thing happening. I th it's the humanize. It randomizes some parameters. I see it. That's cool. I like when plugins have that. So now if I say, hey, uh, go slowly over these. You can kind of see what happens there. A, how do I make you move further up? So it's not going all the way. Right, it just stops in the middle. There's got to be a way. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta steal the gun. <coughs> <sighs> Flying low? Hello? Oh my god, chat is exploding. Lumpiskeddy's here too. <laughs> it's like there's questions and I'm just like, I just see the chat going. <laughs> Quick question in your track without you, there's this bass on that reminds me of a good any idea which I've been referring to. Uh, I have a song named Without You? I know I have a lot of songs that kind of have that similar name. <laughs> Alright, okay, it goes up until here. Let's, uh... Oh, this is the strength. This is where you say where it's supposed to stop. So you can kind of see when it's going across these... Kind of create some sort of interesting plucky attack thing. And then also when you let go of your key, like... It goes back down again, like if you let it have some release time on the... So it's like some sort of like a note off sound. Like imagine you're playing some instrument like a uh, harmonium or something, or I, I don't know what instruments have like a note off sound like that, but it just makes it... Even if you make it really short, it kind of just reminds me of like a actual like real physical instrument or you know like old or not old shitty but like these old crappy little electronic keyboards where they would just be like a little pop at the end of when you let go of a key. Right? Just this little click at the end kind of makes it way more uh, organic and character-y sounding. Gives a character! <laughs> My English. Oh, with you! Um, 
I don't know. Oh god, yeah, I could have. I should look into that. Uh, I don't know which patches I used from. Oh, that's the intro with like that's the it has like a dramatic intro, right? <laughs> In the uh, VR scroll folder, that's uh, drums, mostly drums. So once you have this sort of setup, now we can say, hey, uh, randomize me this position a little bit with like sample and hold. It's different for every key, uh, for every voice. So I already like that. This is right up my alley. But we could also smoothen this out a little bit. So let's make this just a bit stronger, but then... So now you can kind of see how, depending on what uh, your source audio is, this can turn into a rather realistic sounding uh, physical modeling type patch. And then there are also these weird bodies. I had some reverb and delay. Oh, big. Fascinating. It's a very... Yes? What? <laughs> you called me. <laughs> Everybody just say... I just look... I go away for one second. I look back at the chat and it's just... All the same messages. It's But it's something different every time. So it's a nice surprise. I won't be able to keep a live stream schedule. I cannot... I don't want to make promises that I can't keep. This has just been kind of nice yesterday and now as well. Like, I'm, I'm probably only going to do until 8 p.m. So I'm going to do 25 more minutes. And then by 8, I'm just going to go back to f focusing on this. Because my productivity does sort of tank if I start live streaming. I'm going to do two voices. Humanize, wave normalize. Pitch zone offset. Okay, that's not necessary. Let's make this slower. I like that. Okay, but now that the wave is normalized, we can also stop there and we still get proper volume. I wonder if I play that low, if it's going to sound like, like, uh... Yo! Throat singing! Hang in. <laughs> that actually sounds really cool. That's so different from what we're working on here, though. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to show this uh, weird, weird ass plugin. I like that though. That's cool. Oh, can we can we drive? Sick. Yeah, I'm definitely saving this preset. Oh yeah, what are we making today? Not this. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I gotta save this here too. Otherwise, it's gonna be gone. So save you. Oh, it's just unnamed. Save as um, the road singing. Save and then back to the synth and then also save this here. Like save as all right singing and then I can use this. Uh, for something else. But using this same sort of technique, I made a very pretty patch the other day where it's doing the same thing, sort of, where it like slit, like goes through this pretty quickly, creating this little bit of like attack, this little click at the start, that it just moves up and down in this section to just keep, keep like having some sort of motion, some sort of, oh, and it's mono. With like a little bit of glide and then that just goes through eq compression distortion compression eq 
reverb, soothe. And like this note on click from sliding through all of this really fast. And then when you let go, it's like a little, like a little scrape kind of sound. I think that's awesome. It just makes it sound really, really cool. I think this is, I have no idea how much this is. I think it's like a $5 a month rent to own though on Splice. Um, and I haven't heard of this company ever before and this is really cool. I, I, I would, yeah, if you, if you have $5 a month, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to tell you to buy anything that you don't want. I just think maybe like I like companies or like people, developers who make weird stuff and this is weird stuff that's cool and I want more of it. So I always want to support them. $50? Oh, not too bad. Damn. Oh yeah, show the music. Yes, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Where are we at? Here. It's just I know this like whole build up thing. We could we could just we could do that now and it would take forever and then we wouldn't it's very cute, I know. Uh. <laughs> Did you record the guitar yourself? Yes. I actually just fixed it as well. Because the acoustic bonk the acoustic had a, a broken string. You can play on broken strings. Oh, it's a bit out of tune. Let's see. There was this there's this one like YouTube poop video that someone made where it's me on a guitar and then as soon as I start playing it's just polyrhythm. <laughs> Last of Us? That reminds me I still haven't seen the show or played the game. Phosphor bronze coated strings. Okay. Yeah, these are silver and the nylon. I didn't know that about the cluster delay. I have it though. I'll try that. I have no idea what model guitar this is. This is the cheapest one I could find at a store, random store. Ortega Family Series Guitar. Oh, established 1994. My birth year. This is the, the company is as old as I am.
<laughs> Lamento Boliviano. What is this? <laughs> Yasutaka Nakata. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this is a weird tuning. It's open. It's like C major. C major open. Fish song. <coughs> I don't know the fish song. The heck is the fish song? Oh. Sorry, that was probably loud. I wonder if I can, I can probably show you real quick just like what my workflow looks like when I record stuff with, for example, this guitar, because it's not very elegant. It's not very pretty. But um, just so maybe this will give you all also the feeling of anyone can do this. You don't need to be able to play guitar. I've never had guitar lessons and I taught this to myself over time and this is not how you're supposed to be playing guitar. If I took, if I actually took guitar lessons, uh, I'm pretty sure that the first thing the teacher would say is, oh, you got to unlearn all that stuff and learn it a different way. So it's just like, Ugh. you want my hat? What, what hat am I wearing? <laughs> oh, that one. Yes, it's still kid's hat. <laughs> Put distortion on acoustic guitar, turn into electric guitar. You can actually make some pretty good electric, like so, um, convincing sounding electric guitar with serum and then run through guitar rig. Okay, I'll, I'll show you how I how I do this usually. Um, let me just think of like a melody that I would want to put here. I know there's a lot of melodies already going on here. So I would do something like. Ah. Quieter. Wrong note. Let me do, do let me do this from the start again, but on a different string. Ah. Maybe here. So Do a like, nice little difference at the ending, uh, and then can I? Oh God! I guess. Good. So I'll literally play it note by note, uh, and now we're gonna stitch it together. <laughs> Can you show the guitar into wub? Probably, but maybe not today. Okay, where is it? At some point, I at some point I restart it. Could I do a like, nice little difference at the ending? Let me do this from the start again, but on a different string. Yeah, yeah. Maybe here. So. All right, from there. Kind of like that. The cool thing is we can also like uh, pitch this around. Hi, Lumpishketty. Oh, you were the one asking for the fish song. Of course. <laughs> Duh. Put that, in, put that into life and see what comes out. Actually, not a bad idea. I should remove the wrong notes first. So let's do that. Let's do, for, A, turn off the warp. Oh, also, this is really long. Uh, life only works with like uh, 15 seconds. 
So let me let me do the proper like the arrangement first that I was going for. So yes, I will do this all by hand. And this is going to suck for a second. But it's going to be worth it. Like mm, mm. What is gonna do? Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna warp anything yet because I wanna have the quality as good as possible. That that it's gonna do on I know you can cut by a transients, I know. Cause probably someone is saying that right now. Yeah, I know some are louder, some are quieter. This is what you gotta do if you can play guitar. Oh. I can probably also change this bit da -da, da -da. Mm -mm. Ah. the we can actually use that nope yeah gonna need that as well just put the nope in there I wonder if we can bring that together. This is the one moment where we might warp. Delete that. I know this is uh, this is awful. And this is actually, did I, oh boy, I actually played that too fast. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. Nope. <laughs> I was going to keep the nope for later. Uh, audio, audio track somewhere. I'm going to put you down here. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna take you. Hey. Mm hmm. Sorry, this is very boring, right? Stream numbers. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but at least I'm, I hope the stream is still alive. Are we got any lags? No, no lags. Okay, good. Everybody happy. <laughs> Gotta make sure that we got no clicks. This one can be a little bit amplified. This is too high. Cool, so we got... Okay. Yep. I was gonna do the second part here so I don't have to keep moving stuff away so far. Where does this light start? Oh, want to keep that same kind of pattern. Ah, I know, I know. We could also always take notes and then pitch them up or down if we need any notes that I didn't end up playing. Yeah, connect, connect. You also clicking at the start, I don't like. Oh, yeah, that 
that's solid. That's nice. I'm gonna use you over here instead. Do -do -do. <laughs> I do like the chopped way of this though. Mm -mm. Ah. Ah. Sample pack only out of those noises that I make when I play the wrong note. Mm. Let's do a li nice little difference at the ending. Da -da -da -da. Mm. So, you, we're almost done. Mm. 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 Da -da -da -da. Uh. And then, can I? Yeah, good enough. Uh. Yep, 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 we're getting there. Real guitar players are wincing, cringing as they watch me do this. Sorry. I also wish it was different. This should work. This is not the great, it's not best, but oh, no, I'm gonna leave, <laughs> I'll keep that vo vocal sample, the stupid one. This is definitely like made in a rush. Usually these are like a little bit better. And like with the transitions being a little smoother. But yeah, any, er, anything is possible. It's kind of cool. Oh, clip. Uh, click, I mean, there was a click. Sweet, okay. Now I can go back and look at the chat. <laughs> What is this Ableton skin? This is the this is a factory skin from 12, I think. Yeah, this is one of the Ableton 12 factory skins. Oh. I'd like to see you in person one day. Oh yeah, okay. What is this Ableton skin? Yep. But also, yeah, maybe. Do you usually use monitors or headphones when producing monitors? Yeah, so the rendering this into a single sample would be a move now. Can definitely do that. I um I'm just thinking what I want to do with this like as the next step. Maybe um let's keep the original back here and just command J this. The volume levels could have been I could have done a little bit better there. Like just let's just even these out by hand before applying any compression. Sometimes it's nice to have them just like that. <laughs> actually do want to see if we can do something crazy with this. Um, let me think. Because I want to see if we can use like the chords from this tune and marry them to the guitar in a way. And I'm thinking, I'm going to save this in case this crashes because this might be a bit intense. But yesterday we had a really good time with Harmony Engine on voices though, but you can put it on other things too. So let's do chord via MIDI. And then I'm just gonna draw them here, like. Mm -hmm. 
Kind of like that. I don't know if that's going to work. Loop this. We got harmony injured. I'm going to group this so that we have a dry through. And then this is going to mute the original. And then this MIDI goes to 15, is it? Harmony engine. Fingers crossed. Oh boy. Fascinating. If I change this to instrument. sounds like there's pitch variation that I don't want. Onset delays. Oh, this is for the vibrato. It's not even in use. That's fine. Like. Like it's almost there, you know? You know what I mean? Is it that the guitar was out of tune? And the harmony engine is in tune and that's just why they're not happy together? could be yeah that's better hehe <laughs> why so acid what do you mean color based guitar yes a oh, vocal synth could also be cool oh my god chat yeah glide transition rate mm -hmm. no this is this I, I love harmony engine for this like, have this boy up, and then move between... And like, the, this is the glide time that will then be applied to that. Yo! That's awesome, this is exactly what I wanted. I might just need to EQ this a bit. In general, this is this is there's like no processing on this yet. Okay, once on the dry and then one more on everything. Oh, this, that's why it's so quiet here. This can bring these up and bring you down. The slight imperfections are kind of cool, though. I, I, almost, I almost like that. You go away, and then... Oh, does it even work in this part? <laughs> Let's see. that chord change. We can do this though. CM <laughs> presets are wave tables that you would recommend. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put a, I'm just gonna do this later tonight. I'll put a massive uh, pack of, massive, okay, but like good pack, uh, also wordplay there, a pack of wave tables for serum, which you can also use in Vital and Faceplant uh, on my Patreon, because I've been making some cool wave tables recently that are like really useful. Some of them for uh, really useful for uh, was it like generative synthesis and I'll make a whole video about that because I love generative synthesis Oh, yeah, this that's where the stream died yesterday when I was trying to explain this idea that I had <laughs> I uh, Maybe we can try that again and maybe this time the stream won't die. Yeah, actually, let's see Let's let's like be a little harder here with the compression and see what happens, you know <laughs> Nice. 
I wish there's a way to like force it even more. That's interesting, you can make pads out of that. Play. Oh, but, 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 there's more we can do. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I won't talk about that thing again, otherwise the stream is gonna die. Uh, they, we still have options to do cool stuff that we haven't done yet, like... And I know that's a bit messy, but what if we then also, and let's hope this stays in time, shape a box it. So let me try um, this, maybe? Yeah, there's like this, the latency is now messing this up. If this was before the Harmony engine, I'm just gonna... Maybe post, like maybe render out and put on a new track and then, then shaper box because latency is making it very me. Oh yeah, I do. I did want to try like an alternative though. So this is Harmony Engine. What if we used uh, the orange vocoder? Yep, it's a vocoder and it's orange. Um, and this has an internal synth or a, uh, or you can, put something external into it. So that is possible, but now I need this MIDI to go to two places at once. So we're gonna go instruments, external instrument, group, duplicate, and number one goes to 16, no, it goes to 15, it's audio harmony engine. And the other one goes to MIDI 15 audio orange vocoder. And the harmony engine is turned off for a second. Yeah, that's a bit low. I'm just gonna do the. I'm just gonna do this here, and grab a MIDI pitch effect and put this in front of this. Interesting. Oh, it brings a reverb with it. I'm gonna turn that off for now. Let's see what we can. What can we do here? There's a lot of different. Okay, that's the pitch of that. <laughs> Sorry. There's a blend between, is that the blend between these two? But why are you, oh, because you're off. Interesting, what do we have here? I got all distorted, it's all even. Oh, no, you're not in key. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> Very, I thought, let's see what other, oh, noise. I like that you can hear them as soon as you just hover over them. I kind of like, I kind of like that. Bear with me. I kind of like this. I really kind of like this, and I think we can do something cool with this. Ah, uh, one more thing. Ooh, arpeggiator. MIDI, maybe MIDI uh, factor act. Did I, do I have him here? I made some really cool MIDI sequence generator type things. Auto, let's just see what happens. I'm just gonna throw this here, and oh my god. That goes a little crazy. <laughs> Duh, I'm having fun. <laughs> uh, I have used Razer, yes. <laughs> I'm using a lot of auto pan, that's true. Would I recommend Shaperbox 3? Yeah, it's good. It's great. I really like it. Um, If they have a demo, always try the demo first. See if it actually makes its way into your workflow and if you like it. Like, Especially if it's something that's like $50 and up. So, uh, haha, 
Scale zero means off. Oh, if I gotta tune this to Odin. Oh, this was on C, right? Yeah, C. Spread layers, layer. Gate. I knew I did something good here. This, I'm, I'm, this is like a rack that I made. I, I'll put this on Patreon as well. Human music. <laughs> this will all make sense. This will all make sense in the end. Like, I feel like having something like this, maybe an octave up. Oh, could have just... Something like that is pretty cute and inoffensive, so I feel like... That with the delay is kind of sweet. This is gonna be annoying, but let's fix this because I want I want to keep this all how it is. But we got this one problem with that I introduced a different chord at the end here, and we gotta do something about that. So the and then I'm just gonna go hard and tune this. Mm, uh. Could do, but you here. There's two notes playing at once there. Maybe just move you over. And now make sure it doesn't click anywhere. Yeah, I think that should work. And now this also needs to like follow that. But follow that. Follow the vibe, by the way, by Alice Dream. Such a cool tune. I really like that song. Uh, it's also the second drop of Follow the Vibe by Ellis Dream, and there's someone doing really pretty vocals on it too. The second drop of that tune is like BT, Emotional Technology, or actually Movement in Still Life by BT, like that type of breakbeat. Ah, my heart opens up every time I hear it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we just need to. Oh, no, that's wrong. F. And then. Sorry, I'm making funny noises. See if that works. Yeah. Mm -hmm, uh. This can just be. Mm -hmm. It does. It does kind of work. What does the Harmony Engine think of this? Yeah. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. That is my mistake here. That's the chord.
Okay, I just, I like just working a lot with things affecting each other. And like, once you have something, like you've written this chord progression, and you have this guitar that has like that sort of rhythm to it, the da 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 I like finding all these ways where you can sort of marry them in different ways where you don't have to write anything else. You don't have to add new notes or make a new rhythm, but you can, in this case, let's try it with a serum where like we have a super saw and I'm gonna make it soft for now that plays those chords. And then this has a, um, let's see, a utility. And the utility's volume is gonna be controlled by Actually, let's do this all in one, because then it's easier. That's going to be controlled by the volume of the guitar, but filtered. So this is going to be a 4D chess move real quick. Gate, sidechain input from 15, which is the guitar. Grab it, uh, pre-effects, audition mode on, group, make it inaudible, followed by an envelope follower. And then parallel dry chain to let the sound through. And then the envelope follower couldn't... Oh, that EQ was supposed to be between these. And the envelope follower is linked to this gain here. And now we're going to put this on 50. Yeah, that's not a lot happening there. No. Getting there. Oh, yeah, this is on... Uh, this isn't... <laughs> this is on need random phases here there we go and then uh probably also gotta like compress this a bit but the important part is we're taking away this low end from the guitar so that only the high guitar frequencies are gonna trigger the envelope follower and i'm just gonna toss this in here and then and i didn't have to do anything like, I didn't have to write anything. I, I had to guess. I did I did a lot of things. <laughs> I'm so confused that you don't use MIDI and audio router Max for Life devices. I know sometimes, I guess, in 12, Max for Life, in Ableton 12, is actually, I feel like it's even it's more stable than it was in 11. Um, I still just sometimes I like to just do this by hand in this roundabout way. I want a little bit of compression. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. <laughs> Can you do all that again, please? <laughs> How much is too much compression? It really depends on just what it sounds like. So, the we can kind of do some cool shit here as well. Where, like, so far this is just one en volume envelope follower from the guitar controlling the volume of this entire Super Saw stack, right? That's, uh... I know it's a bit wild in terms of how it's like, uh, how much it's changing. Um. We can kind of limit that a little bit. Maybe if this is just down to 20% and then does that make sense? Would that work if we then bring it up after? So that it's just less. I think I can fix that by just compressing this. But what I want to do is I want to make this, I want to do this three times for three different frequency bands. And it's hopefully gonna work. So let's see, uh, limit this bit, like almost limit, limiting compression this. Oh yeah, and gotta bring you back to 50.
Okay, let's leave it like this for now. But now the weird part is going to be that over here, where this utility is doing that, let's group that as well. And let's do that three times. And let's frequency split that. Um, and for that, we're going to use an EQ3. I know it's not the best, but it's fine. And then um, we're going to move, we're going to like link low frac crossover to macro one and high frac crossover to macro two. And then duplicate this three times. And then this is just the high band. This is the mid band. And this is the low band. Then we now have to link uh, three of these envelopes to these because now we only have this one controlling the high and the mid and low come through unaffected. So let's, oh boy, oh Jesus Christ, can I make this all in one big package? I think I can. Um, let's get rid of that EQ. Leave this as it is and then, oh boy, oh Jesus, this is doable. EQ3, I think, um, doing the same thing here, low on macro one, high on macro two. Let's actually also link this to three and link this to three. And then same shebang where we have this three times. And this is the high, this is the mid, this is the low. This is the dry coming through. And then this from zero to 50 is linked to the gain of the high, the mid one is linked to the gain of the mid one, and the low is linked to the gain of the low. And now, ultimately, one more, oh wait, no, not one more group. I also want these linked somewhere, like power, high power, mid power, low, and then a rise and fall for all of them together. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, this one goes to five, six, seven, and then this rise goes to four, and then also map to all siblings, and fall goes to eight, and then map to all siblings. And then this is high gain, mid gain, low gain, and now group the whole thing <laughs> And move them one more time here where it's like uh, map you, frequency low, and also frequency low from here. Frequency high, and oh, sorry, this is so unnecessarily over engineered. Slope from here, slope from there. And then the rise and the fall and the gains can all come over. But then we don't have to look at this mess anymore. We can just have this. <laughs> So what does it sound like? Is it even worth all this work? Oh, Jesus Christ. The just, just, <laughs> so we've basically built a three-band vocoder. That's kind of what this is. Um... The rise and fall is like the attack and release in the vocoder section. The gain is like the overall string. And if, yeah, this is kind of like how a this is kind of how a vocoder works. I think, I'm pretty sure. And it sounds vocoders usually sound so glossy and like so weird spectrally, like uh, watery, because they have many of these bands and all the crossovers kind of uh, just create this this like this, these phasing issues at all the, at all the crossovers. Uh, okay, now let's make sure that all of these get like a okay amount of like, for example, the low band here. That's just always on. So we want to turn the low gain down. What's the mid gain look like? High gain is not existent because oh, I made this crossover is really harsh. Let's move this here. Move you here. It almost sounds like a vocoder now, doesn't it? Yeah, we've made a three band vocoder. We have the volumes of the highs, mids, and lows, and their crossovers are selected with these two macros. 
controlled their volume here, the gain knob on these utilities at the end of these three frequency split chains is linked to, oh, this isn't even mapped to a slope. That's linked to these three envelope followers, which also are only fed frequencies from that same range. They are also three envelope followers, same frequency split that's happening here. And a little bit of compression. And then you can kind of see here how they're reacting. And then we have control over the gain sort of of these envelopes individually. And we have a master rise and fall. Let's actually try. Mid can loose a little bit. Oh. Fun. I know. I did wanna. Oh, autochroma? What is that? Putting three vocoders channel stripped in a rack would do the same. No. You would have to. Um. You'd have to have a one-band vocoder, which doesn't really exist. Uh, if if I added another band here and did this not split in three frequency bands but in four, then it would sound fairly similar to using a voco the Ableton vocoder on four. Let's actually see if this sounds similar, just because science, you know? So the carrier is going to be external, and that's going to be audio input from the guitar. I'm going to do the same thing here, five. Uh, Pre-FX, uh, careful. That was the other way around, I gotta switch it. Mm -hmm. You know what? <laughs> it's gonna do this again. <laughs> Input, 15 Pre-FX, and then Audition, and then the carrier is gonna be external. Yeah, so external. It's coming from the same track, which is this is 17 serum. 17 serum prefix. Right? That sounds pretty similar to. So that sounds pretty similar to. Just differently split, and this is three bands. Well, this is four. So why did I make that from scratch? Just because I wanted to. I wanted to see if it's doable. I wanted to say, okay, autochroma. People say autochroma is awesome. Gonna look that up afterwards. Oh yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> this is this is way worse than suddenly opening a tab with porn in it. It's like he's watching Bitwig tutorials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, exactly. I've I've been dead mouse told me to get into juice or like make like clap programs, like learn clap for that kind of stuff. Uh oh, chroma and autochroma, okay, different one. I thought you were talking about a different one. <laughs> and oh yeah, so just for um just so we 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 have this uh, we can close this lesson on how a vocoder works and how to make your own. I think like moving this formant knob kind of just shifts the one signal that's triggering the volume of those bands. So the guitar in this case, the one that we're not hearing, like we just hear the synth with the with the volume profile of the guitar. And I think that formant knob just shifts the volume profile of the guitar, like, up or down. And that's sort of what creates this timbre shift. It might just be a frequency shifter in the back doing some magic or something, or it, I don't know, what is it? It just, it just says the frequencies of the filter bank. Okay, it actually moves the frequency of the filter bank. But it's like, the, the actual, the actual frequency bands here they stay the same. They stay between whatever range you select here, between 20 and 18,000 hertz. 
At least I think that. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> One of the things stays the same. Do... Oh, hey, Crow! The padding automations for this... This actually sounds very sweet. I'm just gonna um, have this work in parallel to the self-made vocoder. Definitely sounds interesting. Yeah, I kinda like it. Let's just make this a little more dynamic as well. I feel like if we just give this an eighth note pluck. Why do I feel Mumbai power suddenly? Or face my fears? Like the chords. Yeah, this is really cool. This this went this went a very strange way. Oh yeah, this is also still. Oh, is that going to? Where is this going again? That's the orange vocoder. And where was that? <laughs> I lose track of that. Was on the original thing here. Here. Oh, and we turn it off. That's why I'm not hearing it. I was like, there was something missing. That was the pretty sine waves. Yeah. So oh boy, this is a lot. So out of this one, just so we can sum it all up now. Out of this one guitar recording that was horribly cut together out of all these single notes, aggressively mashed together and also retuned, and then added the chord progression uh, from this part, ran the guitar through Harmony Engine, orange vocoder, a dry out, um, and two vocoders, one of them self made. <laughs> We have we have finished one step of the whole thing, <laughs> but you know it's, it's sometimes I like I, I get a little too heady sometimes as well with this where I'm like oh but what if I also added this and that and sometimes it's just like I could have probably spent half an hour less on this uh, and it would have sounded just about the same in the final context. Um, but it's like a mixture of I'm enjoying this so much that it makes me want to keep working on this project. And you have to find this balance between, hey, if you really just get, if you get stuck on something like this and you just keep trying to dial it in and it's not getting where you want it to be, then you just get frustrated. And maybe even like you had an idea of how to, what comes after this whole part, but you're just so stuck for an hour on this one little guitar loop here that once you're done with that, your workflow is just down the drain and the flow state's gone and you're like, have, you don't remember what you wanted to do next. So it's a... Uh, Play the track, yes. <laughs> okay. And no one cares what I say. I'm gonna do one more eight bar thing, build up thing. Like I do want just to build the hype a little bit more. Let's just duplicate this whole shebang and then have uh, just like a little snare type rising thing. It's very cute. I know. This feels sounds stuff in the ultra list. <laughs> uh, this feels a callback to a few old tracks on SoundCloud. 
Oh, yeah, no, I, I like this kind of indie stuff. This is cute. What genre is this? I don't know. Um, but let's let's also let's work on it just for a little more. Maybe the stream's gonna die. Maybe it won't. Who knows? I hope I didn't jinx it. Uh, this audio track isn't doing anything, right? Yeah, let can go. Bye. Okay. Um, clap or a snare type thing. Let's do that real quick, real, real, real fast. Oh, there's no drums on here yet. Anyway, all right. Let's uh, get just like a little. Actually, let's write this with this these drums. And then we can layer it with an electric one. Someone falls over a drum kit. Da 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 da. Um, I'll give you all the deviation thing again. Let's uh, see that. Oh, this doesn't this doesn't go with the. Uh, does it go with this with the? I guess. Second macro could also bring in detuned songs, like here, and you'll go here, and then like the more this goes up. Yeah, make big. Mix down wise, uh, there are some issues here. Like a lot of these, all these melodic things, I love them. I love them all, but they're all getting, they're all coming together in like this low uh, 200, 150 to 400 hertz range. So some of these are gonna have, need, they're gonna need something like this, where it's gonna make them sound a little more thin, but... Then together, it's like enough. Yeah, that's fine. This can, this one can stay. Just, just a test. Consolidate this and just pitch this up an octave. Oh. Nah. Ugh. Ah, this just destroys it. is okay but it just destroys the quality i just wanted to know baby i need to know Ooh. um little little rising sample type thing vr new samples and then there is f f f, f major mess yeah let's do that one this is f major we are in c minor so that is d sharp major and that is two down from f so boom boom minus two and then reverse you. And then Ah, so beautiful. Uh 
I made this uh, myself some other day. I just wanted to like make some stuff for granular synthesis. So I just threw that together and uh, I've been using it like this since then because it really it's really pretty as like a backwards. It feels like time is running backwards in a movie or something. Kind of like a nice little riser, but melodic. Okay, so enough of enough of the introductory stuff. Let me duplicate some silence so we have some work area here, and I do wanna do wanna at least make one sort of heavier melodic part, real quick. And I'm imagining, sorry, I'm not checking the chat that much. That was beautiful. Yay, I'm glad you all like it. Go beats mode. <laughs> Have you thought of adding a re-space underneath that guitar? Maybe. It's pretty full right now, that um, that area, but I will revisit it some other time. Otherwise, this is like we're going to be too stuck on that and never going to move on. We do have to move on. Oh yeah, sorry, this is probably loud, because everything else is really quiet here. Uh, snare. I'm gonna do this one, and then maybe layer. I'm just gonna grab a few, and then we see what works. Sophie's snares are going to be too intense. I was going to grab that one too. I don't know exactly what type of snare I'm looking for, but I try to, every time I go into sample libraries and I get kicks or snares or hi-hats, I try to limit myself to four of each that I can like then play around between. I think. Yeah, yeah, that one's gonna work too. And then kick wise, one or two alternatives, like this one. Yesterday we used the molly kick. Oh, I can also show you what I did yesterday. The molly kick. Poop. Donk. I'm gonna keep that one too. <laughs> four by four drum and bass drums. Down a minute for the second part. Bringing up the automation a little bit for the bass, or just before the second part of the build-up. Um, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yes, all solid ideas for the build-up, but we are no longer going to work on the build-up now, because that is, I, we need to move on. We're going to go back to it and do some things to it. I'm just going to do both. Screw it. And then... Maybe this might work. This might work. I know this uh, ping snare needs to be a little mm, if you want it to be in key, like and. I heard that. This little bit of silence, I heard it. It was kind of clunk, like flaming. So if you layer kick drums, sometimes it just works out. Uh, maybe you want to put a uh, utility on one of them and then flip the face to see which one sounds better. This actually sounds pretty nice. This one has the, this one has the high frequencies, which I like. Maybe to soften them a tiny bit. I like that. Um, so far, so good. Command J. Should I get this thing? Should I, like, I don't know. This is probably easy to do, but I've just never done it. Where you can like, uh, if I, whenever I do a key command or whenever I hit any keys, it like shows it at the bottom of the screen because I feel like sometimes that might be helpful for people. Blair, 
Nasco, infect everybody back. <laughs> Hi, future. Hello. It's just like <laughs> once a day, everybody just checks in here now. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that'll make it be a regular thing. <laughs> What is he working on today? And then everybody's just like hanging out and saying hi to each other. I love it. This is sweet. You're you're all you're all awesome. I love this community. Shaper box. Oh, shaper box. Da 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 da. Shape the box. Da 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 da. Shape the box. Sorry. Five milliseconds, yep, here and here, and then we have a little sidechain action going on. You're gonna be MIDI triggered. And your MIDI trigger is here. Bup, ba, go to sidechain. Nice, good. Da bum. Sometimes I like that when you have two kicks, it's easier to do these little, these little like rhythm hits. This guy's also a bit louder or longer. That feels good. And what do you think about Speedcore? I haven't listened to Speedcore. I don't know. Mad Dubs is here. Hey. How long will you teach at SLAM? Until I perish. No, I don't know. This, this is just really nice right now. I think this has low end too. There's like something I don't like about that. Where it's like... Th that does feel better. And then maybe this can also... And then this can be shorter. Yeah. Now nah, this is good. All right. So we're coming from here. I have an idea. Just bear with me here. I know exactly what to do. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'll leave you up there. Yeah. Ha, mm -hmm. huh. why? time but then now with a different chord at the end like da 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 
da da da da. <laughs> I use the trackpad. Please open Maelstrom. I don't have Maelstrom. No, the norms didn't pull in random norms coins. <laughs> random all down. How do you duplicate node and move it up at the same time, like what you did for chords? Oh, yeah, um, these are just like the little, like if I select this and then do, uh, Command D and then arrow up, arrow down, shift and arrow up. Um, Shift and arrow right, longer, shift and arrow left, shorter. Um, and if you hold command as well, then it turns the grid off. So there's all these little uh, all these little things that you can do. So this is eighth notes, right? So let's try yeah? if we can, uh, first of all. Pretty. But nowhere near where I want this to be. Oh. Add uh, the sub just as a static saw here as well. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. We can do this. Like this. And then an equalizer like that. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh. Yep. Mm hmm. And this the other way, sort of, but it's just not as intense. Like eh. less peak, still peak eight. Glitched. Less intense. <laughs> Yeah, now we're talking. Ooh, maybe this. I like. Oh, so much text. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm trying to sing the sound of the Continue working with the synthesizer in this beautiful atmosphere. Too much listening for this music. Mapping your middle mouse button to delete is super useful. Oh yeah, true, that's a good idea. I don't have a mouse though, I just got trackpad. Indie rock intro and now the open screen for mouse trip. Things happen so fast and fancy. Can we listen with context? Oh, there is, yeah, there's like no context here yet, but we have the build up ish, build up ish is doing this. That my idea was that oh, this has to stop. That we would have some sort of like fills, obviously, but also does need a base in some way, or shape, or form. So I'm just gonna add that real quick. Mm. Too high. Too low. It's not that easy, is it? I feel like we could actually... Does this work? Let me think, let me think. Yeah, maybe. Like if this sub is direct out, but then this is big and detuned. And this isn't. Ow. <laughs> and you go, and then we cut off that low end here because that's very wide. Okay. 
Should kind of work. Yeah, I'm being very rough here with the processing and everything. Can this step randomly on eighth notes or maybe quarter notes that depends on, on this like random stepper? Kind of makes the chords talk, right? Fox. Steve Stevenson is here. Is he? Hey, dude. Miss you. Hope you're good. <laughs> if he's actually there, I didn't. This is happening so quickly. <laughs> hey, you hit the thousand. Yeah, we can just do. We can actually add one more here. I really like that. Um, I want to do one alternative where this isn't happening here with this filter and the OTT, but instead we use the auto filter. I just want to see if we can get a different timbre out of it, you know? And then, um, sorry, loud, maybe. And then, I guess sine wave, a quarter notes. Kind of. Why is it? Why is it? Why do that? You know what I mean? Do I just need to like move this to the right? I guess it's just this is too much. Oh. It should be wah, um, wah, right? Why is it not? Why is it not wah, um, um, wah? <laughs> Uh, what flavor are you vaping? Uh, cotton candy. But I want to quit it this year. Last year I quit drinking and drugs. And this year, the rate? But it's on quarter. Oh, maybe it's too fast. You mean half. Hmm. But as, on quarter notes, it would go wah, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, right? Like. I wanted to go da -oh, da -oh, da -oh. If this, let's try it, just saw down. It should be bow -oh, bow. -oh. Like it, it sounds as if it's retriggering it there. Hmm. Phase off city hatch fried. I put the chords in eighth notes. Yeah, so on quarter notes, this should be like a, I want this to be half. Like, you know what? Let's turn this all the way up. And then. I know it sounds very cool, but let's just do this all here. Auto pen. We're gonna have you do the. And now we can test. Like, wow. That doesn't make sense, does it? That's really, really strange. I'm just gonna. That that's right. But I bow bow right right. What is happening? Hmm, maybe it's... Very strange. That's fine. 
It's gonna ignore it. Sorry. Sorry, I got so hung up on that. This is kind of cool if it was just open, you know? Bring the EQ back. We have Morphe Q at home. <laughs> oh, every time I go back here, it's like. <laughs> oh, that was a question. I just uh, yeah, I keep writing chords and progressions that I just don't enjoy anyway. Like I don't I, honestly by like playing and even I guess maybe, maybe even in MIDI just writing stuff down. Um, in MIDI, like like copying chords from other songs that you like, it just makes it able, makes it possible for you to like look at them, see what they're how they are voicing stuff and why they sound like the way they do. And I feel like there's definitely some reverse engineering knowledge in there. But can we make this any cooler, please? Just maybe with some. I just wanted to not sound like just super sauce, you know. I'm gonna leave it at that. Fine. Gonna try this. Okay, maybe not those, but I want to see what these feel like in here. Is this substantially louder now than it was before? Because I feel feel like this part's way. That's kind of okay. I feel like I got louder. Turn you off here. Like halfway through, this could come in or something. And this. See if we can have put some nice percussions in the back. That's very uh, ASMR, -y, but I like. That's fine. It can stay for now. Uh, what about some ARPs? Not a bad idea. I was thinking I want to add a vocal, maybe vocal chop thing, and a donk, and then we're. Then it's gonna be fine. I said I was gonna do it until 8 p.m. It's 9 p.m. over here already. But I'm having fun and I'm really enjoying this. Thank you all for being here. Honestly. Instrument. Operator. Let's make a donk. I turn you up, you off. Is 
going to shut up. And uh, maybe give me a little bit of the filter drive. Ah! Sorry. Just a little bit of that pitch attack. That's cool. Um, oh, little trick for widening um, stuff like this, because this is mono and I like it, but I also want this wide. And if you use the spread here, everything gets wide. You could, I guess if you wanted to, you could make the, you make it wide and then make the sub mono again. But I personally prefer duplicating this into two separate things. Duplicate that, have the second one with the spread all the way up. Turn the low end, get rid of the low end, like this, like that. And then we can also maybe make this one just a little bit faster. And then last but not least, I'll just add this to just the sides. If you can't hear this, then you are listening on speakers or a phone or a system that doesn't play stereo. And sometimes, especially with something like this, I think it's kind of cool to make the side information thing just like a little tighter, a little faster. I think it's kind of cool. And, and you could go crazy and be like, hey, actually, on the side, I'm going to have a different different pitch for this stuff. Like, why not? Let's just try it just for fun. Let's just do the high one. Mm, kind of cool. <laughs> and, uh... I feel like this needs uh, some stab. Yay. Sweet. Uh, can you try adding some jazzy, zappy lead fills, like like in between those, in between those pauses? You mean? Could, but my next thing on my shopping list is the vocal, like vocal vocal cuts. Let me just a little, a little more crisp. all this micromanagement sad another one just I want the transient to be real snappy yeah that's fine it works is it is it any different if I hadn't done that it's the question Versus barely, <laughs> barely a difference. That's fine. Damn, I ruined it. This was better without. Yeah, sometimes I just sit there for 15 minutes just. <laughs> Alright, vocal cards. Let's go. Love your music and hope you live eternally. <laughs> Turn a little strum on that bass note. Like same notes an octave up, but a little further forward. Like, like, gling. You mean like? Uh, now it's hitting the distortion a little harder. A little harder though. But it's cute. Alternatively, we could say, hey, this is limited to one voice. 
I like. Yeah, that's a, that was a good idea. Let's keep that. Okay, vocal. Um, am I going to do this by hand or are we going to use the super slicer? I think I'm just going to do this by hand. Screw it. Let's uh, grab some vocals. There's a lot in here. <laughs> what do we have? I gotta be careful not to suddenly play something here that isn't out yet or something. <laughs> but this is pretty safe, I think. This might be useful. We can maybe we can do the where do I go box. Yeah. Did you see the sites only operator to one voice to set the sites? No, and I intentionally left that. Thought maybe it's cool if the side overlap there so that it's a little wider. Uh, let's do a uh, transient a little less. Also got some pre-sliced <laughs> back there. I don't know who Onara. This this could be an artist, or this could be a question if I like a food named Onara. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yes, crowdfund me a second monitor. <laughs> uh. Okay. Um, what to do now though? I kind of want to also do some just crazy uh, connection stuff here with like let's say envelope MIDI at the start, and then a reverb that um goes in parallel, and this is like really max and new good here and then there's going to be an ott after that reverb and then an eq to get rid of the low end and then a utility and then this will be from zero to 50 and then this goes here and this has sustain but barely any release and no velocity and then that should out yeah Kind of, shorter, no shape. Mm -hmm. Nice, and now we can also just like, just add that in there as like a little reverb flash thing. Pitch map to vocals would be probably make things uh, pretty easy. Uh, might be lazy, but maybe. Okay, let me come up with some sort of pattern first. Ah, oh, that was cool. Did you know that... So this is awesome and I absolutely love this uh, about the slicer because I was always like, slicer is cool, but I want to pitch each slice maybe differently of this vocal because maybe, I don't know, maybe this one over here or that one, I want it to be like, maybe I want this to be like a lower one. I can transposition this entire thing at once, yes, but you can do this per slice too. And all you gotta do is, let's say I want these, I want using the same slices. Then you go in MPE. And then you go, that's minus seven. It's got a, oh, yeah, this is just a little annoying to use sometimes. The only thing is you don't hear that, you don't hear the preview, even if you click the note. Yay, I hope I 
helped someone aggressively with this. You can also in the MPE in the MPE mode. This is also possible in Ableton 11, by the way. It's just over here. It's like expression. It's called expression. It's like at the bottom, sort of here. It's like a thing. It's like next to envelopes and then expression, and then it's like a thing. You can also draw the notes here in MPE if you want to. Uh, you have to though. I think if you want, yeah, everything's like super off the grid. If you, and you have to hold command to have it be on the grid. And this is it's a little more annoying to just write everything in MPE here in that in this editor. But na 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 na. That's just oh yeah. If you copy, if you copy a note that you have affected with this MPE pitch bend, it's per note pitch bend basically. Uh, you won't hear the preview, but if you copy it, it it does follow. Let's go down one seven again. Oh, another thing, if you click here, if you click like anywhere here, like right now, right? Every time I hit space, it starts playing from the beginning. If I click here and do uh, option space, then it plays from wherever I placed this. You don't have to like go up here and then do that. You can just do that while you are in here. Those were two killer tricks back to back. Nah, nah. Ah, that's too slow. Love it. Uh, worth upgrading from 10 to 12? Yes. Absolutely. That I can... Die Gesundheit der gesamten Verwandtschaft drauf verwetten. I could uh, bet my... The health of all my relatives on that. Being a good decision. <laughs> mm. Oh, yes, I remember. No, I remember the mini lesson. You were there with your mom. I remember. That was cool. Plugin called EgoS by Sugar Bites. It's a lot of super slicer. Basically, has effect tricks. Let's have these games. I'll try that. The super slicer. Yeah. So the super slicer is just some sort of. Um, it's like a proof of concept, and I wanted to be able to do more. But I'm basically, I will go into some plugin development at some point. And I'm testing out ideas by making these crazy racks. And then just to see if it works in like a general application, if I would use it a lot actually. And it's sometimes some of those racks that I haven't given out are just even way too chaotic or just way too heavy on the CPU because it's a horribly inefficient way, obviously, of doing this if you have to load the same effect for every key on the keyboard or something for something like that. But uh, I get at least this way I can test if this is helpful or useful at all. <laughs> Um, that goes here. This goes n away. And then na 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 na. I was gonna. Oh, I should have just done. Hey. No, don't don't oh close them. Na na na. Yeah, you can work in this grid too, but then you want to hit a command to have the snap. Yeah, there. Mm. That's a bit intense. Oh, 
I wonder this one's like polyphonic because there's like a chord like there's harmonies behind the vocal but sometimes it's cool if you can make that work like maybe let me just try it. I guess that like yeah, but that's either too high or too low I don't I don't like I just wanted to Oh, I do like what that sounds like with the distortion that's in the sample here, but gotta get rid of the x. Nice. And what are these others here? Yeah? Yeah, definitely that one. Um, what else we got? Switch back to the notes and then. Sorry, that one's. That one just happened to be way louder because I accidentally increased the velocity. I think this is offhand. Those can stay on the same note. Da -da. Da -da. So aggressive, but also kind of cool. Yeah, that kind of works. So I'm just gonna keep going up this up this ladder here. The hey, we can use that too. That's kind of cool. The little turnaround here at the end isn't perfect. It's not hooky enough yet, but it's getting there. Um, I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna grab this zombie hi-hat. Where's the here trigger? Trigger early. happening or eh. yeah I'm not gonna do this I'm not gonna overthink that I feel like that vocal could be mashed together with those chords. Did you find myself looking at the beauty I needed in my life? A little time, yeah, crash and stuff, yeah, yeah. Um, I see you're still making good use of those curl samples. Yeah! <laughs> um, no, definitely here. Uh, wait, where are, where is it? The, um, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. <laughs> Bonk. What did you use again? Adobe... Did you use an Adobe thing? If I remember correctly. Ad Audition? What was that again? <laughs> Favorite underscore song. I really like You Don't Even Know Who I Am. I've been listening to that one on repeat. And I also like Northwest Zombie Girl. Like the B section in that with the quiet quieter guitar um so good so cool the chords are incredible i was sad that that wasn't on the album
Yeah, I'm just gonna we're just gonna do this again. Screw it. Audio track. Gate. And I could just let's do a little bit of processing here. At least OTT it. Come on. Kind of like that. And then on this audio track, so this is 16, where do I go? Sidechain audio input from 16, where do I go? That rack post effects. And then I'm gonna just save this in case this crashes because sometimes these plugins are a little too intense. And then we're gonna use Morph SC, Morph, Morph is sidechain input. And then the sidechain input's gonna be... Um, Serum 12, go for that. Post effects, nice. And then let's, this is working, yes. Wrong, wrong side. Oh, are you missing some? Oh, this. Classic actually sounds pretty good. I kind of want the uh, breathing of that, um, of the chords that these chords have with like the this like I kind of want to have that here on this type of sound with the formants. So let's see if we can just do that by throw in like a shaper here and then this is just running on a loop in quarter notes and then it's gonna make like a little this is by the way my new absolute favorite device this shaper for for reasons that i will get into next time so link you to the formants i know that it's moving a bit crazy this could be just super glitchy now all right, let's reduce the strength of this. And let's move it down a bit. Where's this tail coming? Oh, it's coming from here. This like weird tail is coming from the corpus, I think. Oh yeah, from the automation here, I'm pretty sure. Not that, but oh, it's that little vocal tiny bit here. Fine, yeah, whatever. It's just gonna layer. Should be okay. Okay, I really like this. And this last bit of vocal chops just has to be perfect. I've got to work on that real quick. Uh, let's get a shoe kick in here. <laughs> the crazy knob? What's the crazy knob? pitch it so high because then it starts to get annoying that kind of works no 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 that's kind of cool but it's so nice chip monkey low is also a little cringy oh it's so hard to find the right one let's just see what's up here
Oh, that's kind of that's kind of fun. That's a little intense, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that works great. Na 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 na. Sorry that it's taken so long. Mm -hmm. you. Ah. Mm -hmm. And then we could flip these two around. Maybe just mute that one for now. The haze is a little intense. Come. Na -na 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 come. <laughs> Sorry. These vocals uh, samples are from um, uh, the uh, Where Do I Go song with Prism. This is Emma singing. So I just sometimes I just use vocals from like old songs of mine and then uh, just chop them up. This just sounds great without drums. I feel like... I, want, I feel like I want to be a little more minimalistic with those drums. Like, the kick's kind of fine, but the snare is a little too... Like, I think this is almost enough, just having this tiny... Like, this goes way harder, somehow. And then maybe we can do a better job at the percussions? <laughs> I love this is great. This is this is fire, but let's uh let's go. Let's try a few more different percussion things. So um I do want like maybe like some sort of shaker tambourine thing. Something organic. Oh wait, this is one of those moments that I've been collecting all these splice stacks for. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> uh, let's, let's see if this works. Okay, I'm gonna close all of these, make them small. We got that. And then, okay, thick percussions, tribal drum stack. Let's see, one of these should work. Um, there's also, there's probably GNB percussions or one of these, or is it, did it not, did I not, thick perks? Let's try let's try more tribal and see what that is. Let's drop that in here. And then loop this. Uh, um, loop. Turn it on and then also <laughs> Why am I thinking Donkey Kong? I don't know. I just I was thinking of level in Donkey Kong or something. By the way, Donkey Kong music so good. Like Donkey Kong soundtrack is just doesn't need to go that hard, but does it anyway. Uh, holy cow, this is a, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> uh, turbo bongo type beat. Is, is this, this, no, shut up. We've, we've made enough jokes about the racist samples folder. This, this ends now, this is, it's no longer funny. <laughs> <laughs> noise gate, yeah, definitely. Like this noise gated, and also let's um for especially for these super hectic ones here, let's uh, bring them into the arrangement window and like by recording them, and then I think playing them back at half as fast would sound pretty good. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna turn this off. 
just so we don't have to listen to it right now. Or we hear it anyway. Okay, because oh, I did all the solo stuff. I don't, we don't, I actually don't need to do this, I think. Um, so, yeah. Um, fine, we're gonna listen to it. <laughs> That's wild. Okay, cool. Now click this and click this. The good thing is if you move stuff from this live view window, because if you import a stack from Splice as an Ableton project, you get it like this. And it will start playing all of these if you hit that play button there, and then you can like record them over here. The good thing is if you do that, then they aren't going to be like committed to audio like that. These are the original loops. This is warped and this is 90 and it's original. So you still have the full quality loop. And then now we could just say for all of these, first of all, complex pro be a little bit better quality. And then this guy goes times two and that one doesn't look too fast. This time goes, this guy goes times two. This one might work too. This, yeah, let's make that one times two. This one's definitely too hectic looking. That one is way too hectic looking. And this one too. All right, I wish you could do this with all of them at once. Definitely better. Like, right, this is just not as hectic anymore. Who is the guy that I didn't Did speed up. This is okay. This guy is a little off the grid in like a crazy way. But I guess it's cool. It's just that. I'm not very off the grid, I was wrong. This is the guy that's just like Cumbia. But like, yeah, <laughs> start rapping over it. This, it's, this one's like really cool and laid back type, but, and that's kind of what gives this entire loop a bit of flavor, but I feel like in the context of the rest of the song, this is gonna be a little too intense. So I'm just gonna uh, quantize this. I feel bad about it. But um, do beats transients and go like this, and then uh, command A and then command U. Da, da, da. Yeah, let's just have them like that. Sorry, taking the life out of the loop. I know, but in context, it'll sound a little bit nicer. that fixed what is th oh <laughs> that's intense that's a very intense loop maybe n I'm gonna turn that off we're still pretty hectic Um, let's try repitch on this and then oh God, that's so low and that doesn't sound good either it's gonna do it like that sorry for spending so much time on this but This guy's also very hectic. If you're on beats, a little bit better. Oh, and this guy could be here. Yeah, there, sorry. I just I have to I just had to figure out how to make this work, and then this entire group goes through sidechain, which is increasingly hard to find. <laughs> uh, certified stab moment coming up, where this is just this is just going to clean it up for us. Um, oh, I also I made a cool rack. I did, I have seen Dune too, and I loved it. Um, 
Um, I made a cool thing that I just want to show you real quick. Uh, this is a rack heavily relying on third-party plugins, though, but I thought this was cool. Uh, breakbeat processing random frequency shift. So I made this for, like, breakbeats, for anything aim and break related, any of those breakbeats that you have. There's tons of those samples, right? And um, so what this does is it's a four band it's a it's a we have stab at home but not really um because it's also using third-party plugins but it's basically it's a four band frequency split for attack and sustain using native instruments transient master and then it goes into multi-pass where it's being split into five bands and then those five bands get kind of randomly frequency shifted and that kind of gives you just if you if you hit random, it just gives you this um, like different flavors of the same type of loop, sort of. Like I'm a tr this is the mix for all those frequency shifters in total. And if you hit random, like it's just shuffling all those bands around a little bit, giving you a really cool variation on that loop. I think there's a better version even random fr five band random free okay yeah this is just random frequency shifter and this one's a little more intense with the previous one i tried to make it a bit oh what's this yeah let's see oh boy this is the mix you see it's kind of it's kind of cool i like this it's very helpful you could totally make this I'm I'm a maker Ableton stock version. I know multipass is a lot of people have all the kilohertz stuff, but I'll make an Ableton stock version. That should be easy, or someone else can. But I'll definitely will, and I'll put it on my Patreon. But like now we can sort of just find a, a tuning that here and just hit randomize a couple of times until we find something that matches uh, the key of this. It like goes well with it. And just to make sure, and put I almost don't like the hi hat. Can we make this super minimalistic? Yeah. There is some sort of hi-hat in one of these loops. Also, this all needs to stop for a moment for this. Maybe like, yeah, here. And then the same over here. Yeah, like that. That feels good. Uh, where's the hi-hat in here? I guess that sort of. That's what I was looking for. That just needs a slight bit of adjustment. Maybe the reduce ambience too can. Like I still want it to be there, just. I like, sorry, I haven't looked at the chat in ages. I was just so in the zone and getting these drums to sound nice. Looking forward to your Ableton worship in Chicago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm stoked. Saw plug counter melody fills. Yes, yes. Finish your track, your love. Oh, I know I know which one you mean. Yep, yep. I have found the project file for that one. I'm, I think. I think I found the project file, so I could uh, definitely do that at some point. Sorry, one more version of... That's why I duplicated this, because I want to make a change that I don't know if I'm going to like it. And I'm going to just put this into 8th note groove. No more 16th note. Um, 
like syncopated, no more syncopated 16th notes anywhere. Dum, 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 dum. I know it might sound a little more, a little too boring, but I think at this tempo, it's just, I think at this tempo, this is totally fine. I'm gonna just duplicate you here. I'm gonna put you one more time over here. And then this guy. It's already on eighth notes, easy. And this dude. Also. I think that's good. Let's uh, check that out. Yes! Ah, oh, this sounds good. I like. Do you know any Spanish? No hablo español. I don't know. Que se acosta el elefantos debajo de la mesa en encima de la mesa. That's all the Spanish I know. Oh, uh, manos arriba. Andale, vamos. The drone sound in Logout and DreamLogic is a reactor's um, form. And I just put all kinds of samples into it and then mess around with it. We can do that another day. It's really cool. It's very trial and error because you don't really know what it's going to sound like when you put them in there. Yeah, that's, uh, as a DJ, you got to know those. That's all I know. You gotta know those words. Like, you know, put your fucking hand up. <laughs> okay, that's just. Uh, I'm a. I know there's no connection between intro and drop, but I'll play it. I'll play it for you anyway. I'll decrease my microphone volume and I'll increase the volume over here a bit. happy it's very clean i like every time i've been this is why i've been coming back like last night when we streamed when we streamed last time we streamed together um uh, this is, something really cool came out and i didn't expect that and same here kind of it was just like uh i don't know how what did we start with oh yeah that guitar stuff yeah and then i did not intend to write this kind of drop or anything i didn't know where this was going i was just like oh i got some cute guitars let's see uh so this is nice it's kind of it's kind of cool it's uh so might be doing this again whenever i got time also let me show you what i made out of i've like worked a little more on the one from yesterday and it's for download on my uh patreon as well the bounce and i'll put the bounce of this one also on my patreon um but I wanted to show you how the one from yesterday turned out so far. Because it's quite cool. Might be a little loud because it's mastered.
there's a cord missing. But yeah. Sorry. That was really cool. Also, like something, also just like something a little bit different and from what I usually make. So I've been really enjoying this, just kind of going for whatever feels good. Um, there should be. There's one different chord here that I added that this thing has. So. Just made it a little bit jazzy there. And this could sort of go into something. This is this super basic idea of just making it yoinky. And one last thing I want to show you and then I have to go. This might be scary for some people. I clicked on save. I'll be there. It'll be there. It'll be in the things. <laughs> It'll be in the backup folder otherwise. It's all good. I've hit save like all the time though on that previous one. Like you you don't see when I do. But I've hit save like all the time. So don't worry, but thank you for the twenty-one forty-seven thirty-five. Tw twenty-one forty yep, all good. Oh good, this is uh, three minutes ago. Oh good, it's saved. But thank you. Uh, so this was an... I, I'm not gonna explain this. I think I'm just not gonna explain this. I think that's best. But, um... Is this off? This These need to be on. Oh, they are on. But why are they gray? Because they're in... Oh, sorry. Sorry, you probably hear me twice. Sorry. Now this is better. Haha. <laughs> Yes, AI. <gasps> Virtual ride uses AI. Cancelled. <laughs> Goodbye. No, no, this has it's, it's a, there's a reason. This would be very, very difficult to do without. So there's a good reason why there's a <laughs> minus eleven laps. Nice. Um, so. Because, because I need, um, like, 15 different voices that I all want the same, to like, I want them all to say the same things. And I need, like, a child, an old person, a female, male, uh, whisper, shout, female whisper, male whisper, just, like, all across the board. And... I could invite, I could find like 20 people and invite them in the studio and then have them all just record this tiny little bit, which would take me forever. So I think it's fair to like use AI in this case because it's the idea that's like the main thing anyway. Uh, so yeah, um, you've all seen, oh yeah, we were talking about Dune 2. Who's seen Dune and who's seen Dune 2? Aw, yeah, oh yeah, maybe we can do like a crowdsourced type thing okay you all know the um the voice right let me see if this is all good might clip a little bit i uh, i so i'll recommend turn your volume up quite oh, to an okay level it's just gonna even if it's gonna be a tiny bit too loud when this plays back it's just gonna be so cool and you're gonna be like you're gonna get goosebumps I hope this is the intention. <laughs> um, okay, I'll mute my mic and I'll shut up and I'll just play this. Is this impact important? I turn that off for a reason, right? This isn't necessary. No, I don't think we need to hear that. What is this? That is important. That's on though, so I think we're good. Okay. All right, let's go. Hey. You, 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 yeah, you, it's all right, you're, you're gonna, gonna be okay. okay. Take a look around. You are not alone. <laughs> I 
I know, it's terrifying. I had to use AI. I needed all those different voices. So there's like, I hope you will forgive me. I think in this way, it's like if I hadn't, if I hadn't had the AI, I couldn't have made this. Hey. Huh. So the thing this is okay with. The thing is totally fine. Come on. And I'm not, um, yeah, some of it's like the, that female voice is almost a little too happy at times. Like I want it to be a little sadder and a little lower in tone and I will keep working on this. And dude, there's so much work putting all the effects on here and doing all this. So it's like, yeah, whatever. I know, I know the whole AI conversation is really like difficult and gray areas a lot there. And yeah, I completely agree. I'm just really happy whenever I get to use it in a way where it allows me to do something I wasn't able to otherwise. So I, on that end, I'm really excited about it. Um, that wasn't in Dune too. No, I just I had like the, the inspiration was that voice from Dune. And um, the main thing here is having the, I took like one of those voices that was sort of like the loudest and pitched it down an octave. So that's this thing. That's just like under the, under the rest. Yeah, you. And there's also some crazy stuff happening here where you might notice there is no like reverse reverb fading into any of this. So I can actually show you this real quick because this is a really cool uh, production trick. So what I have here is these two channels, wet and dry. Wet has like reverbs, grain delays. Um, I'm doing like a backwards reverb with the hybrid reverb by putting like a backwards sample into it. There's uh, these delays that like are... Uh, longer and longer sort of this is three this one's on six this one's on three plus six this is on nine so these all swell up these all like swell i'm gonna turn this the rest here off just so we can hear just that right and that takes about a second and then the dry just these voices completely dry goes through a delay that's one second late so that at the end of all of these swells, that turns on. Hey, you, you, that's where the, you, you. And that's where the dry one goes. And on top of that, at the end of the whole wet chain, there's a compressor here. And this gets a sidechain input from um, the dry vocal. That's also a second delayed. So whenever the dry vocal speaks, the wet reverse fade in shuts up. Just to make this like super dynamic. And uh, and make the mix kind of clean for that, so that's that way you get you can you can, kinda hey. see, you can see this here like as soon as the dry vocal speaks it's like whoop. hey you yeah you <laughs> oh harmony and well, spoken word into harmony engine I'll try that nice okay. Yeah, that's what I showed on Instagram. That was when I was um, that was when I was was working on this, and I was like, "Hey, I want to share that little trick." Um, okay, enough for today. Thank you all for watching again. <laughs> uh, this went on a little longer than expected, and now I'm very hungry. So I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> That ending little wonk dub clip. No, because it's sad and <laughs> embarrassing. I need to work on it. It's not embarrassing. It's totally fine. Like, uh, but I'm I I want to work on it first before I show you. Good night, everybody. I might go eat. Bye. Thank you all for watching. I'm gonna make sure this stays online, and I'll put the thing on the Patreon sometime this evening or tomorrow because it's pretty late already. So, bye. Love you all. Good night. Thank you for hanging out with me and thank you for some really good input for the song. Some people every once in a while, it's like, hey, put that on there, put this on there. And then it sounds really good. Thank you. Bye.